The Baldur's Gate 3 modding community is still on a roll almost four months after BG3 officially released, and this week I dove right into the literal sea of mods that now exists over on Nexus Mods. So today I'll be showcasing a number of mods that I've enjoyed using as of November 2023. Starting off with probably one of the coolest mods I've seen yet, that being Whispers of the Divine. Now Whispers of the Divine is probably one of the most complete racial class mods I've tried, and it introduces a new race for you to play, that being the Asimar. For the uninitiated, Asimar are essentially a type of angel, and Whispers of the Divine gives you the option to select one out of four subraces, these being the Protector Asimar, the Scourge, the Fallen, and finally the Harbinger Asimar. All of these come with their own racials and extra spells that all vary in playstyle. However, I've mostly played as the Protector Asimar, but as you can see here, every Asimar subrace come with their own very powerful abilities. Like Penance of the Sin Eater ability for the Harbinger, which when activated, provides you with a buff where you and enemies in your field of view has to succeed a constitution saving throw or take d4 plus your proficiency bonus in slashing damage. You also obtain temporary wings when you activate this ability, which will allow you to easily reposition with the buff active. I should also mention that you do gain permanent wings at level 10, and you can toggle them on and off depending on your preference. And this is of course something that all the ASMR subraces get. An important side note here is that the wings are disabled during conversation, so you won't have to worry about them blocking your view during dialogue scenes, which tends to happen with the Cambion mod I showcased a couple of months back. Now, aside from some very pretty wings, the Asimar also features a whole new set of heads for your Tav or Dark Urge, and they all include the trademarks of one Asimar individual in particular, that being cracked porcelain skin and intensely glowing eyes. However, if you're a fan of mods like Vemperin's other heads, like I am, then there are compatibility patches for that mod in particular, as well as some other appearance mods. A mod that goes well with Whispers of the Divine is Ghoul's Customization Compendium, which adds several elven heads as well as undead appearances. You know, in case that's your thing. Now to put some finishing touches on your angelic tab, I can highly suggest both Mary's Makeup and the Messy Hair mod, both of which gives your tab a slightly disheveled but very fitting look for a fallen angel. One thing to keep in mind though is that Mary's Makeup is a replacer mod, which means that it replaces the original makeups in the base game for all characters. And so some individuals might look a little different with this mod installed, like with Shadowheart here. Ether's No Party Limits is one mod that I wish was available on launch, as this mod allows you to bring essentially your entire group out into the world. Now yes, having all of your companions with you might be a tad overpowered in terms of combat, but why I love this mod so much is simply that it allows for so much more banter and you're less likely to miss out on unique dialogue and conversations. Chuck, a tadpole feasts on our scars and you're signing on to chase devils. I've seen your people in battle. I reckon you are no mere warrior, but a god's damned army. I'd be a fool to let you turn your back. Pledge me your talents, and I'll pledge you mine. Chuck. I'll presume that's Gith Yankee for yes. Now let's move. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Oh my. <laughs> this is going to be a fun journey. Of course, since this is a mod, there are bugs involved. Like with this situation where Lazel wasn't engaging at all with Kithrak Voss when you meet him for the first time. Which I could only assume is because the game didn't register Lazel as a primary companion or something along those lines. However, most of the time, this mod enabled conversations and banter that I just hadn't seen before, and so I can just wholeheartedly recommend it for anyone who's replaying BG3 right now. The Inaccessible Gear Vendor mod, also known as Act 1 Genturim Hide Up Vendor Sells Inaccessible Gear, Ring of Evasion, and More mod, adds a ton of equipment that was cut from the final game. Yep, you heard that right, mod author Phoenix5 simply added a bunch of items that Larian seemingly decided not to incorporate into BG3. 
So you don't have to feel any qualms whatsoever about installing this item adder mod in particular, since the items here were all made by Larian. Of course, as you can probably tell, all items are purchasable from Bram the Gentaran Trader, but do remember to bring a lot of gold, because some items do cost a pretty penny, like that of the Clover, which is a legendary sword with its own unique model. While we're on the topic of traders, remember to get Trade with Withers and Trade with Withers Essential Supplies because, as the names imply, these mods allow you to trade with <laughs> Withers, and the second mod adds some much needed supplies to his inventory. You know, just in case you run out. Withers is also pretty loaded, so you don't have to worry about him running out of gold anytime soon. Better Context menu essentially revamps the contextual UI when you right-click an item, and as you can see in this comparison by mod author Pavel K, this little mod makes different actions stand out more, and honestly it's gonna be really hard for me to go back to the vanilla context menu after using this mod. And finally, as always, you're probably wondering where I got this wonderfully practical armor with no weak spots whatsoever from. And of course, <laughs> yes, this is also a mod. Specifically, this is the Night Song's Armor Type B variation, which you can find in the aptly named Gantily Camp Outfit mod. Now, normally I'd showcase a bunch of these armors to you guys, but since YouTube is for kids now, I will just have to pass you on to the mod page on Nexus, which you can reach through the link in the description below. As you probably guessed, these outfits are not very safe for work, so have that in mind in case you're about to check it out. Anyway, that's it for this little mod showcase. If you enjoyed these smaller, bite-sized mod videos, then remember to support the channel by hitting the like button below, and of course, subscribe for more Baldur's Gate 3. As always, have a great day, friends. Mr. Olten, signing out.